This video is closed captioned. Top 10 Best Things to Do in Amsterdam Today we are going to talk about one of my favorite cities to visit in Europe, Amsterdam. The capital of the Netherlands is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world and is known for its museums, theaters, research institutes, tulips, cheese, and of course, its unique entertainment venues. Today we are going to explore the 10 best things that you should do if you visit this amazing city. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey around the world by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. Number 1. Cruise in the Canal The UNESCO Protected Canal Belt of Amsterdam, which was built to keep the sea at bay in the 17th century, is the ideal postcard perfect vision of Amsterdam. It's a breathtaking sight, especially after sundown when the bridges are illuminated by fairy lights and the entire area takes on a magical aura. Taking a guided boat tour down the canals is a terrific way to get under the skin of the city, and you'll discover a lot of interesting information along the way, such as why the tilting residents along the canals are known as dancing houses. There are a variety of canal cruises available, ranging from hop-on, hop-off sightseeing trips to candlelit night cruises with food and drink. With the iAmsterdam City Card, you can get a free canal cruise, or you may book a canal trip online with a canal cruise ticket. Number 2. Visit Rijksmuseum The Rijksmuseum National Museum was founded in 1798 to hold the country's vast collection of rare art and antiquities. It is one of Amsterdam's most popular tourist attractions, as well as the city's most important art collection. The museum's outstanding collection includes a million cultural artifacts from the 13th century to the present day including more than 8,000 important paintings spread out across 250 rooms. Apart from its paintings, the Rijksmuseum features a well-stocked library with over 35,000 books and manuscripts, as well as several fascinating displays on the growth of Dutch art and culture. Its collections of traditional handicrafts, medieval sculpture, and modern art forms are particularly noteworthy. There are several different themed English language guided excursions available. Try the amusing Art History Canal Tour, which takes in many of the areas depicted in the Rijksmuseum's exhibits, or reserve a meal at the museum's Michelin starred restaurant for a unique experience. There are guided tours available, and you can reserve tour tickets in advance online to avoid long lines. Almost 2.5 million people come each year. Okay, travelers, the sponsor of today's video is SEOServiceAgents.com, an SEO agency that delivers results. Based in the USA, they're delivering front page rankings in Google, traffic, and leads for clients around the world. They help me with my website, rank on the front page of Google, and I'm very pleased with the results. I have negotiated a discount code for all my viewers to get you a 20% discount on your first order with SEOServiceAgents.com. There's a link in the description. The discount code is TRAVELDRONER. Contact them for a free audit today. Thank you, SEO Service Agents, for sponsoring this video. Now, let us continue with the video. Number 3. Red Light District, Amsterdam Amsterdam prides itself, and rightly so, on its wholly liberal and tolerant attitude, embracing the fact that people may be into prostitution, soft drugs, and pornography, and that it is only human. So, instead of criminalizing everything, they enjoy the honesty of it all. Nowadays, prostitution is legal in the Netherlands, but not on the streets. That's why prostitutes in Amsterdam stand up behind a window and have their room. The name of Red Light District comes from the red neon lights that highlight the 300 windows where women are working. Amsterdam has three different red light districts, but the most famous and the most attractive is the one located inside the city center. De Wallen is the medieval city center, crossed by canals and narrow alleys lined with old school bars. Surrounded by the neon lit red light district, since October 2000, window prostitutes have been allowed to legally offer their services. Today, prostitutes in the Netherlands are also taxpayers. Oh, and while you are here, don't miss out on stopping at one of the coffee shops nearby that is another unique experience. Number 4. Visit the Bagainoff the Bagainoff is one of those rare peaceful inner city areas that many tourists overlook as they rush from one attraction to the next. That's a pity because this lovely old part of Amsterdam begs to be explored. Although most of the historic houses are still occupied, the narrow lanes and pathways that surround them are open to the public, so feel free to wander around. You'll be rewarded with views of well-kept green lawns, the courtyards, surrounded by some of Amsterdam's oldest residences, including the city's only extant 14th-century wooden house. 
the area's little chapel, which was originally occupied by a commune of pious Catholic women, is still open for ceremonies and saw the last of these ladies buried here in 1971. Number 5. Go to Jordan your Dan is Amsterdam's most popular neighborhood, with a mix of residential homes with garden courtyards, vibrant markets, and expensive retailers and cafes. There are plenty of enjoyable things to do in the region, from taking a stroll down one of the many lovely streets to visiting one of the numerous top-rated tourist attractions. The Voonboots Museum, a floating museum dedicated to houseboats, and the intriguing, honestly, Amsterdam Cheese Museum is among the lesser-known jewels in the region, which is most known as the location of Anne Frank House. Lindengrat transforms into a massive open-air market on Saturday mornings with local crafts, food, flowers, and goods, great for filling a picnic basket. On Monday mornings, Vesterstraat is bustling with 200 exhibitors selling a wide variety of goods in a flea market-style bazaar. Jordan's restaurants and cafes have become popular gathering spots for people watching and listening to traditional Dutch folk music. Number 6. See how Anne Frank lived Anne Frank House is located on the Prinsengrat. This is the actual home where Anne's family hid for much of World War II, and it is dedicated to the all-too-brief life of one of the world's most well-known Holocaust victims. They were Jewish exiles from Frankfurt, Germany, and it was here that Anne wrote the journal that went on to become an international bestseller after the war, only a few years after her death at the age of 15 and two months before the war ended. Much of the house has been preserved in its original state, and it serves as a moving memorial to a horrible chapter in history. A word of caution, tickets sometimes sell out up to two months in advance, so make sure you plan and buy your tickets online. See the website address below. Amsterdam's West Church, located next to the Anne Frank Museum, is one of the city's most prominent churches. This magnificent Renaissance church, completed in 1630, is notable for its numerous interior and external Gothic characteristics. Its 85-meter tower, dubbed Langerjan by locals, is the city's tallest. A massive copy of the Emperor's Crown has been erected on the spire in memory of Emperor Maximilian of Austria. A carolin inside the tower announces the hours. Number 7. Visit the Royal Animal Zoo. Artis, Amsterdam's excellent Royal Zoo, is less than a five-minute walk from the Botanical Gardens. This world-renowned attraction was founded in 1838 and is one of Europe's oldest zoos. It features a wide range of animals from all over the world in a shady garden environment sprinkled with historical structures. For example, the aquarium was built in 1882 and had displayed such a coral reef system and a fascinating look beneath an Amsterdam canal. Other attractions include a nocturnal Eternal Animal House, Zoological Museum, Insectarium, Butterfly Pavilion, and Planetarium. There is also a library with a large collection of antique books, prints, and artworks. A copy of the Normal Amsterdam's Pell, the NAP, which depicts the average sea level of the North Sea, is also of interest near these enjoyable nature-based attractions. Number 8. Bike Tours Bicycling is one of the most common modes of transportation in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, cycling is such a popular sport that the city's tourism website contains pages with free route maps and safety guidelines for cyclists. However, if you don't feel like hiring a bike and exploring on your own, there are a variety of bike tours available to suit all types of visitors. Yellow Bike was the first firm in Amsterdam to offer guided bike tours, with two- and three-hour excursions passing through must-see locations like Vondelpark and the Anne Frank House, as well as a four-hour tour into the Dutch countryside. There are many other tours out there, like Amsterdam Experiences. Tourists who are interested in culture and the arts should join up for the Amsterdam Experiences bike tour. Riders will travel off the usual path to witness quaint drawbridges and canal cottages, colorful street art, and a historic Russian submarine during this three 12-hour excursion. Number 9. See and Smell the Tulips the tulip has long been a symbol of the Netherlands and its city, Amsterdam, but it wasn't always so. The lovely blooms originated in the Central Asian foothills and were grown by the Ottoman Empire in modern-day Turkey. The blooms were first brought to Holland in the 16th century, where they were cultivated for research at the University of Leida. So any vacation to the Netherlands would be incomplete without seeing those gorgeous blooms. If you're in Amsterdam in the spring, Take a 20-minute excursion out to the world-famous tulip fields, Bolenstreek, which sprawl across miles of lowland fields between Harlem and Leida in colorful stripes. 
During the Tulip Festival, which lasts the entire month of April, there are plenty of opportunities to stop and smell the tulips right in the heart of the city. The bulbs spill out of bouquets at the Blumenmarkt, line the windows of the Tulip Museum, and seem to burst forth from every possible planter. Number 10. National Maritime Museum The National Maritime Museum is a must-see for anybody interested in ships and the long and rich history of Dutch military and trade fleets. The museum uses its various exhibitions to present its outstanding collection of maritime-related objects, providing a fascinating glimpse into the impact the small nation of sailors had on the world throughout the centuries. The museum has a wide area of model ships, historical armaments, maps, and artwork, including several showing some of the significant sea conflicts involving the Netherlands, in addition to displays focusing on sailing and shipping. The museum's structure has a long history. It was built in 1656 and operated as naval storage for much of its life. Exploring the magnificent Amsterdam, an exact copy of one of the country's most famous warships will be a highlight of your vacation. English language audio guides and guided tours of the ship and museum are available. There is also a cafe and a shop on the premises. Well, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do leave us a comment or a like. If you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing. And before you start packing for your trip, consider looking at some of my other videos from other amazing travel destinations. Happy traveling and stay safe.